Hey guys, welcome back to Droid Crunch. I am Lokesh Kapoor, and in this video, we are going to see how we can show or hide content based on date and time. And this is very quick and easy. And I will show you how you can do that. If you have installed Dynamic plugin, it's straightforward and quite easy for you. But if you haven't, please check out the link in the description, and you will get some discount too if you buy from my link. So let's quickly get in and see how we can quickly do that. First of all, make sure that Dynamic Visibility plugin uh, is installed or Dynamic Visibility is enabled in Dynamic Content for Elementor. So let us quickly go to all pages and here we can add a new page. And here we can name our page hide content based on time or date. Let's publish it and click on edit with elementor button over here and this will load the elementor page builder now here we can import or drag and drop any widget from this uh, panel over here let's drag and drop the heading widget and for the container let's give it some adjustments give it a bit of color over here and we can make this white from this and let's give it some padding from here maybe 50 pixels okay and let's make it center aligned okay if you don't know how to customize the flex containers you can check out my separate video that i have created only about customizing the flex containers in elementor I will leave a link in the description or I will also add this to the card so you can check that out as well. For now let's click on our container over here and click on visibility. Enable this visibility, it's dynamic visibility. Now just scroll a little bit and you will find this date and time visibility over here. Click on it and it will load all the options that you have you can use dynamic dates as well where you can you know use date in this format and you can also use date dynamically from your post data post meta and you can import from acf date field or date picker widget as well but you can also select date manually here as well for example if i select 14th of august it is 15th of august today and if i choose to you know uh, show the content where the date is from this date and to this date for example 16th of august the content this will show only between these two dates okay i can also choose period as well if set element will appear after this period okay and period 2 where the element will be shown only up to this period i can also select when this element will be shown or the container will be shown on which dates of the week for example i can choose to show this only on sunday and i can also set only on saturdays so saturdays and sundays and from here i can also set the time from where this element will be shown and up to the time this element or container will be shown now make sure that these visibility options like these date from and date to or date from or this period these days and time visibility all are connected this using this logical connective okay where by default it is set to end okay uh, how the conditions are combined if all is selected the condition is satisfied when at least one condition is satisfied if end is selected all conditions must be satisfied for this purpose so by default it is or and if we set it and it will be and logical connective so for example over here in date and time if we choose to show this container from this date to this date and we choose days of the week sunday and saturday so both will be you know taken into account with and visibility or uh, if you if we use logical connective and and if we, we use or logical connective in that case uh, the set uh, the condition will be satisfied e uh, with either of the two conditions whether it is sundays or saturday or whether it falls between this date and this date 
okay so you have to you know make sure that your condition is uh, well suited based on your requirement and you can use logical connective to make sure that it falls between the date that you want so if you have any questions you can check out uh, you know uh, my social links and reach me out there i will try my best to connect with you and solve your issues and yeah if you like my videos please like it and subscribe to my channel for watching more videos like this if you have any questions uh, or queries you can also comment on my videos as well so yeah thanks for watching have a wonderful day see you in the next one